Hi, I'm Reen Wilcoxon. I'm an independent educator, author, and I create in the hoop machine embroidery designs. I've designed a bib and a burp cloth that are made completely in the hoop of an embroidery machine. And today I'm gonna to show you how to stitch these. On my samples, I've used various um, soft absorbent fabrics. I've used a double gauze, flannel, terry cloth, a knit, a waffle weave, and a furry fleece fabric. These are soft and absorbent, perfect for babies. So let's get started with the bib. So I've hooped my stabilizer, and I've laid a piece of batting on top. And we're ready to go to the machine now. I've got my design already loaded, and I'm gonna put the hoop on the machine. And the first step is, that's going to stitch is a placement line. We have to know where to place our two fabrics that are gonna make up the front of the bib. The bib is sort of pieced. It has one fabric at the bottom and a different fabric at the top. So this just stitched a line so that we know where to place our fabrics. I'm gonna place the first fabric right side up with one of the edges, even with that placement line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smooth it into place. And I'm gonna take my second fabric, which is gonna be the upper half of the bib, and lay it right side down, right on top of the first piece. I'm lining up the edge. Make sure everything is nice and smooth, and you're ready to stitch step number two. This step, uh, I'm sorry, this step is actually stitching a line that is seaming the two fabrics to the stabilizer and the batting. So now that step two is done, we're gonna be taking the top fabric and we're gonna fold it up. And I'm just folding it up and I'm gonna make sure that it's all nice and smooth. And we're ready to stitch the next step. The next step is stitching a stipple quilting that's on the lower half of the bib. It's gonna add a little bit of body to our bib, but it's nice and wide, so it's not gonna make it very stiff. So this is an in-the-hoop bib, and this means um, that the design is completely being made in the hoop of the embroidery machine. Um, designs that are in the hoop, you can make purses, uh, wallets, etc. It's just a matter of layering fabrics, stitching, having the machine stop, so that you can do what you need to do. Um, for example, trim or other things that you can achieve the project the, um, you also will be trimming and turning a project to the right side. So as it's stitching the stippling on the lower half of the bib, once the stippling is done, if you wanted to add a name or a monogram or even another design to the bib, you would do it immediately after the stitching is done. Depending on what you added to the bib, you might want to float another piece of stabilizer underneath it. And floating just means taking a heavier piece of stabilizer, something that's appropriate for the, uh, the stitch count that you are, uh, that your design has, and just sliding it right up underneath the hoop so that it will support those stitches. And this stippling is almost done. We only have one more step to complete our bib. The last step is to take a big piece of fabric and lay it right side down, covering the top of the hoop. You wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth. And just get it all smoothed out here. And the last step is going to stitch the outline of the bib. 
It's going to stitch the outline in the shape of the bib and it's going to leave an opening so that we can turn it to the right side when it's finished. You're going to notice that it's doing a triple stitch and this is the type of design that uh, stitch that I like to use for the construction steps of a lot of my in the hoop designs. It's a strong uh, stitch. And let me just cut this, move this thread. It's a strong stitch and allows you to be able to handle the finished project, to turn it to the right side and be able to push out corners and not push through your fabrics. So it'll just take it a few minutes to go around here. So I am using embroidery thread to stitch this entire project. And I'm using just a regular 7511 embroidery needle. I'm not using anything special for this project. So you should have the supplies um, at home that you would need to do this. But it's almost finished going around. And like I said, it will leave an opening on the side edge so that we are able to turn it to the right side when it is finished. And it's finished. So now we'll be taking the hoop off of the machine. And we're going to go back to the table to finish the bib. At this point, it comes out of the hoop. And we're ready to trim around it. I always start at the opening because you need to leave your fabric a little bit longer at the opening so that we have something to turn in to hide our raw edge. So I'm just cutting through all the fabrics on either side of the opening to about a quarter inch from the stitches. Then you're just going to take your scissors and trim the entire way around the bib a quarter of an inch. Go around the circle of the neck area. But I already have one that I've trimmed most of the way. Let me get that one out for you. So you can see that I've trimmed this one and I'm almost finished. All I have to do is finish cutting this area here. Now that I've finished cutting it, you do want to go back and clip your curves. So all of the curves in the neck area, you do want to just clip about every half inch. Don't clip into your stitches, but this is going to allow the curve of the neck and the curve of the straps to push out really well and lay nice and flat. So once you have it clipped all the way around, you're just going to reach into the opening and turn it to the right side. I've got one that I've already turned and I've used just a little tool to um, push out the corners, push out the neck straps, round out the neck and round out the bottom. So at this point, your bib is almost done. All you have to do is close your opening on the side and if you want, you can top stitch all the way around. Next, add a snap or a hook and loop closure and your bib is finished. To do the burp cloth, it's even easier. To do the burp cloth, you will hoop your stabilizer, lay down a large piece of batting, lay the fabric that you want the stippling to be on, on top, right side up, smooth it all down, and the machine will do the stipple quilting. The last step, is to place your last piece of fabric right side down, again smoothing it out, and the machine will stitch the outline in the bib, uh, I'm sorry, in the burp cloth shape. So then when it's done, you take it out of the hoop, and again you trim around it just like we trimmed the other 
project, leave it longer at the opening, and we would just reach into the uh, opening and turn it to the right side. It turns very easily as it has a nice opening. This is always the fun part to me, to turn it. And make sure that you have something, um, a tool. I have this wooden uh, stick here that I can push out the corners nicely. And I'll start using this little tool here just to round everything out. So then again, after it's um, completely turned and pushed out, you can, if you can see on this one, that um, I have top stitched around it also. And I'm just using this to push out all those corners to get them rounded out nicely into that nice bib shape. And then you can just give it a little press and close the opening. On this one, I have added extra embroidery to it. Like I said, you can add any design that you want to the bib, but make sure that it stitches after you have done that stippling. I've stitched ones for girls and ones for boys, and they all are made out of the soft, absorbent fabric that babies love. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and that you see how easy it is to make an in-the-hoop bib or a burp cloth for a little one, and I hope that you give it a try soon.